Welcome back to the Angler Journey podcast for another episode of celebrating success, embracing failure, and inspiring the entrepreneur inside of you. I'm your host, Emily Frenzen, and I am thrilled to welcome you back for our series of pandemic stories. If you listened to our last episode, you heard Kelly Ross's story of starting her nonprofit, Echo Collective. The Refinery is a program under Echo Collective that selects the brightest and most resilient women in Lincoln, Nebraska, who were born outside of the U.S. to take part in a four-month intensive business education course and participate in a cohort of fellow business builders. Women selected to be in the cohort are matched with a mentor in their industry. And today we have the pleasure of hearing from two women who are part of the mentorship program. Welcome, Marcella and Morgan. Thank you. Thank you so, much. so glad to have you. So to start us off, just share a little bit about who you are. Introduce yourselves. Tell us what brought you to Lincoln and what you do. You can start us off. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm Marcella Medina. Uh, I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, I have been here year and a half so the reason for move here is because met with my now husband and we was try and courtship and traveling but finally the pandemic changed our plans and i'm here so basically i'm lawyer and also fitness instructor too awesome so i started my business in 2007 uh, when I opened my dance studio for women, uh, and now I start again with that project and with all support from the refinery program and Morgan. So I'm excited to talk about. Yes, we are so excited to hear about it. That's awesome. And Morgan, tell us about you. Hi, I'm Morgan Madison. Um, I am CEO at Fly Fitness, and it's a locally founded um, fitness boutique. So we do cycle, bar, hit yoga, Pilates. We've got two Lincoln locations and franchise in Fargo, and are working on a big franchise expansion plan. So wow. I'm their operating COO and helping manage their Lincoln studios and work on their growth plan. And I moved to Lincoln about... 10 years ago for my undergraduate degree and have just stuck around ever since. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. what, and I met Marcela through the program. I used to work with Kelly in a previous role. And so feel really lucky to be united mm -hmm. in this mentorship. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, you seem like a great duo, for sure. <laughs> <She's> great <so laughs> far, yeah. A great match, totally, yes. totally. So I wanna hear a little bit more about your business, Marcela, and what you do <clears throat> specifically. Yes, well, um, when I open my business, basically it's because uh, I want to have the space uh, safe and freely support for us, just women. And working with the women, basically, mm -hmm. for a long time ago, always has my been my goal, working in, in the women, just not in the physical level, just is about the um, self-esteem and and sociology's benefits when the community can work together. So basically teach a class about the Zumba, uh, yoga, um, any workshop, work, workout for, for women. Uh, basically my target is the, the ladies uh, at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no fitness, <laughs> no fitness. Or yeah. When uh, they feel kind of lost on, about the how star in this and these workouts and the my my goal always is that ladies uh, and put the motivation there and basically teach any kind of class about the fitness yeah and it's specific for for women awesome and why did you start that well um because also i am women mm -hmm. so i live uh my up and downs of life right and first of all because i love dance so the zumba was a big opportunity in 2006 yeah there's something absolutely about the workouts and uh but it is as my therapy too and i love i'm go so crazy when can see the there's oh. some lady shining and yes. I think so for me inspire me when uh can see that in the women yeah and the self-esteem it's very very good and I think so I'm very empty empty em empty with with that situation and yeah maybe 
for for that the start is. <laughs> yeah, I think that's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Super awesome. Morgan, do you want to tell us a little bit about the why behind Fly as well? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, Kelly did a great job matching us up because we have a lot of similarities. Yeah. And, um, kind of the fire behind the businesses mm-hmm. that we work in. And mm-hmm. um, Fly is, you know, we have a lot of female members as well. Um, we're kind of moving beyond just the physical part of fitness and really focusing on the mental emotional health and building yeah. community within that fitness space wow. um there's a lot of you know gyms and fitness arenas that aren't mm-hmm. super welcoming you don't feel like you belong there and exactly. i think that's what's so beautiful about yeah. what marcel is doing and what fly does is it's a welcoming space that helps you feel empowered and inspired and even just showing up is a victory. And so that's kind right. of the why behind Fly is to create that space, create that safety for people and create a community, especially as more than ever, we're seeing people, you know, feel isolated and pulled away from each other. So to have this space, whether virtual or in person, where you yeah. can find your community and be connected every day is something really special. So that's a lot of what we do too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So this is a question for both of you, but how do you create that welcoming environment in Fly and in what you do, Marcella? What do you do to make women feel welcome? Mm-hmm. I know for Fly, how we kind of create that welcoming environment for people to Mm -hmm. feel like they can be a part of what we do is it all comes from our team. So from the moment they walk in, who they see at the front desk, who's teaching their class, how we interact with them online and in person, every single moment is you're reaching out to someone and you're creating that space for them. So we really prioritize that and how we operate. And I know I see a lot of like that work that you do with your, you know, WhatsApp yeah. community and how you are following oh, awesome. up with them every day, every week, you're yeah. so in contact with them. And I think communication is so important and how you mm. lead people and how you are there for them is what kind of creates that feeling, that connection. And right. Think, yeah. You do a lot of that amazingly yeah. virtually, which is so <laughs> difficult. It's even harder to do online. Yeah. So the fact that you're able to do that yeah. and you you still work, you've worked with people in Mexico still. So yeah. the fact that you can still maintain that connection is really beautiful online. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's uh, tried to uh, stay after pandemic and some possibility for that community, mm-hmm. especially here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When they, that community uh, have different uh, schedules Mm -hmm. and it was very difficult have something with them and but either way we needed that and they was ready for that so right now okay i think so the pandemic Mm -hmm. uh, show maybe the that generation how we can Yeah. yeah how we can do it and it's awesome because they was more in uh knows a little bit more about the technology yeah the virtual classes from the kids or whatever so that what works for they feel oh, okay i can do it mm-hmm. there's no like a crazy idea and especially for for the community here mm-hmm. so we try found how mm-hmm. how the people can do it yeah yeah and your business started in 2007 in mexico yes and then you moved here in 2020 yes right before the pandemic yeah <laughs> and <laughs> It's so timely, actually, that you were virtual in the pandemic. I just imagine that being so awesome to bring the business here when people are suddenly home and they Mm -hmm. can't go to the gym. But you have this platform online, which is incredible. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, when I was thinking about the move here, start with something online. Mm -hmm. Some people like, "Eh, it's good, but uh, I'm going to gym or whatever. I have my, my space there. So either way, I, I was trying to do the transition. Mm-hmm. And okay, to, I moved there. I need, to st- I, I need to start something for start there too. I was online, but pandemic definitely definitely was the big opportunity when the people, no, just it's two weeks and I will back my gym or whatever. And yeah. After two months, I think yeah. so. We, we feel frustrated and we need, something they give a power give a hope and or maybe no no just stay thinking about the pandemic and when it was very good time there with that project online mm-hmm. finally uh, was here so moved here just overnight was here and it's oh my god i have i need to start again with something yeah. and yeah 
can't find, I feel kind of lost in the first months and mm -hmm. how I can do it. Maybe in Mexico, I, I knew the people, I knew the, right. how, how I can do something. But definitely uh, the program, the Eco Collective program, yeah. for me helps a lot and because it's how you can know about the anything here mm -hmm. you know? but basically it was a big um i don't know reto big uh, challenge yeah absolutely yeah. yeah and you moved here and you moved your business here that's a lot of change in a short amount of time <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Yeah, so I want to hear a little bit more about what Morgan mentioned of you yeah. having your WhatsApp community. What is that like? And tell us a little bit more specifically how the business works. I think you said you do Zoom classes at 6 a.m. every morning. So yes, share yes. a little bit more of those details of what the actual business is like. Yes, well, right now we have a I start with the classes uh, online. We was trying how we can do that especially because I start here without resources and just with mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. But with some limits, either way, when you start the first year, it's just crazy. And I was trying to do it, but no, no make me feel more stressful about. Mm -hmm. And I start classes, um, basically ask, ask the community and, okay, did you uh, maybe want to do and what, what kind of time do you you can do it and obviously my community is yeah. very early because we have our kids and schools and right works. and say okay i can do it 6 a.m and zoom uh, is i think so good idea uh, and after knows um, morgan and obviously i have a lot of ideas a lot of ideas mm -hmm. I, I i just talk and talk and talk yeah and talk. <laughs> morgan is okay Steph. and that was a big part of morgan with uh, her experience here with the community mm -hmm. she knows about the community the, market, right. the brand the, mm -hmm. she's expert in that and and even like an instructor is very amazing uh she played two two roles mm -hmm. like a cio and mm -hmm and instructor mm -hmm. because she can live every day uh, our life right. yeah <laughs> when you are in both in both position right you oh well finally find some somebody understand the concept mm -hmm. the the life yes the, how absolutely can be so frustrated for us mm -hmm. and basically we start uh, with meetings every week and contact for for messaging mm -hmm. mes message, message. and every session i think so i i learn more never is enough what kind of you can know about this something even if you have experience yeah never is enough and so she learned me uh, she teach me a lot mm -hmm. i every session for me is op open my eyes and even stop and something mm -hmm. maybe no words here so i feel I feel more safe, safely in my yeah. steps, in my steps here because I don't knew nothing mm -hmm. about well, so it much here. of your foundation she already had so beautifully laid out where, you know, mm -hmm. she has the 6 a.m. really dedicated community that she works out with and leads them on Zoom. And then yeah. she's kind of nurturing them through her mm -hmm. WhatsApp group where she's yeah. putting all this yeah. encouraging information out there and checking in with them and helping them with their like seeing how they're progressing in their goals that and then so she cool. uses yeah. her Instagram to continue yeah. to inspire and she has all these amazing ideas that you can just see the future all as like yours to take and laid out in front of you so what's been really fun I think is to being like okay so what do the next three months look like and yeah what do the next, sorry, six months look like and then what to the next year and how do we start here and then like grow from there and totally she, she has all these wonderful ideas so it's just been so fun to get to talk about <laughs> yeah. it and like set a game plan yeah. of like okay yeah. let's make these happen yeah. how do we put this in action totally so that's been really fun yeah. so she has all this beautiful foundation laid and just trying to figure out okay what's you know if this is where we want to go yeah what are the steps that we yeah. take to get there and so she's been nurturing that 6 a.m club that she's doing <laughs> yeah. her workouts with and she's launching a yeah. december challenge which is really yeah. exciting you have so many people signed yeah. up for it already that's awesome yeah. so she's doing a 21 day challenge to kind of launch into this more formal workout 
um, challenge group. So it's kind of exciting yeah. to see it take so form. Cool. <laughs> Over, at, like seven days pass and she's wow. like, so far, I'm like, oh my gosh, how many hours are you spending on this? Because she is like on it and it's, she gets an idea <laughs> yeah. and it is like executed immediately, which is amazing. Yeah. Totally. It's really inspiring. Yeah, I think so. Definitely the, the short goals are very good. Yes. We talk more and okay, it's all these ideas and maybe together we can found the, the, is small goals or short goals yeah and three months and how it works and the next three months and how it works and the next three months and finally we say okay just challenge because we need uh mm -hmm. improving the community mm -hmm. the yes. more, le more ladies and have results mm -hmm. and the community feel like ah finally i have this some space when i i can speak up and and have helps right. so very 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 fun and we we uh, we see the field challenge soon mm -hmm. and finally is ready now mm -hmm. and the the people answer the women answer very well and just just we wasn't moving movements i think so that one is the the good part yeah mm -hmm. incredible i think what's awesome about this mentorship is seeing how this could be something where someone else could say oh this is competition like mm. i can't imagine like doing that with someone but it's so cool to see like the relationship you have and i want to hear you speak more about how you view that as yeah. working at fly and seeing this as an awesome opportunity for collaboration and cultivating entrepreneurship in this community rather than competition totally mm -hmm. well and i think it all comes back to because we're so well aligned mm -hmm. on like what we want to do. It's like the more the merrier. <laughs> I yeah. want to get into this. That's amazing. And there's something totally different offered mm -hmm. that Marcella can give her clients that like we might not be able to give and vice versa. And so I think every week we get together and every, you know, coffee mm -hmm. that we share, yeah. I get to learn <laughs> yeah. as much as she's learning. So um, and I think Kelly really did a beautiful job of setting that expectation of like, yeah, this is something that's going to be great on both ends. Mm -hmm. It's not just and it totally has been for me as well. So just like seeing how she lays things out and just even being around that energy and that excitement, it's so inspiring and it like lights my fire every week to do that. <laughs> and so it's like, how could you not like want to go do this? It's so exciting and so fun. Yeah. So yeah, I think um the more that like we can align with like what is like what do you want to accomplish and what's your vision and how can I help you? It it, it just becomes so clear that there's no competition in that space yeah. because it's just a, a beautiful concept that mm -hmm. has there's so much room for that and so much space and there's something so unique that she can offer that I, I don't think I could ever see it as like, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. it doesn't take away, it only adds. That is so cool. I love yeah. that perspective. It doesn't yeah. take away, it only adds. That's yeah. super good. So in thinking about your markets that each of you have, mm -hmm. who is your target customer that you serve and what is your specialty for them? So what do you do that is like, this is what serves this person who is my target client? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for us, um, you know, we're in the Lincoln market, obviously, in Fargo, and we're working on a regional expansion plan. Yeah. So our primary, we kind of have a couple segments in our audience where we like to kind of get rooted in college towns because mm -hmm. there, it's a really fun market to have in the community. They bring a lot of energy. Yeah. They're so excited. And so it makes it really fun in a group class. So that's probably one segment that we have. But we also have a great segment of stay at home moms and young professionals. So it's people who really are leaning into and looking for a community and are interested in health beyond. We don't do any um, weight loss challenges or anything like that at Fly, we primarily focus on, you know, are you getting one step better every day? And whatever yeah. that step looks like for you, it doesn't have to be a pound, it doesn't have to be, you know, a weight size or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's more, do you feel a little stronger, a little more supported, a little more wow. clarity every time yes. you come in here? And that's kind of the people that are seeking something like that beyond. There's a million different gyms and a million ways you could work out, but I think what we have is kind of goes beyond that. And the people who are looking for that community and looking for that, I guess, additional layer of strength that we're kind of offering. Yes. So we do all that. That's kind of what we specialize in is like mm -hmm. high energy, community focused group classes. So people who have only 30 minutes, 45 minutes, we're there for them and we have something for them that they can get an amazing workout. Don't get me wrong. Get a great sweat in. But, yeah. Um, they're kind of getting that more emotional, mental piece of it as well. Yep. 
very cool yeah and the same like me and and i think so well uh here specific in lincoln the hispanic community are all separate so mm -hmm. it's not the some place when we can stay together or live mm -hmm. together like i think so in Oma, how in other cities works different yeah mm -hmm. i don't know why it's recent uh, but here you can find the hispanic people in in the north or south and it's difficult sometimes meet uh that community and as for that uh, the ladies sometimes feel alone yeah in, in their 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 goals and my first goal with this program is is stay um the women are working together mm -hmm. about the same more energy uh feel better every day uh oh, the results coming or mm -hmm. eventually mm -hmm. but I think so they they needed it they was excited for have a change in their life mm -hmm. yeah and support just community support us and have this uh, if you want to do something about the the fitness goal you know you have a big community there for support you or Mm -hmm. remember you your goal your dream every, yeah. every time when you feel like i can do it and second time is and second thing is because uh, it, the, the ladies normally at home before and try do the gym they don't have the coaching right no because here no have the good coaching it's mm -hmm. because sometimes the the first limit or scare of fear feel fear about yeah is the the, the languages and even for mm -hmm. me just mm -hmm. Totally. Right now, I don't know what, how I doing that. <laughs> yeah. But the language uh, is the most uh, difficult part for the community mm -hmm. here. Can can um I don't know enjoy. Yeah. The, a lot support here. Yeah. But it's not because they they know they don't want that. Just is because. For us, it's complicated sometimes, and, yes. and learn and and feel like okay. And for me, for that right now is is they people feel excited because it's oh finally at least right. my my Spanish and mm -hmm. it's Spanish, and and it's even is how you can feel or connect with your essence essential with you with you you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, about the music even mm -hmm. about the music about the some things and you have that um a little moment and and feel like a, a, at home maybe yeah and, and for that the ladies was um just in home and try do something but alone is so difficult and i think so just the program is for that and you no know, you don't have excuse mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to stay home you don't mm -hmm. need paid a lot of stuff to do that uh, and and basically you can uh, support with the other ladies from from your country with your languages so yeah it's it's part important in this program <laughs> absolutely i see you meeting so many needs for these women providing community overcoming language barriers and yeah. in such an important time where people are generally craving community absolutely. after the pandemic as we're coming out of uh, yeah. a lot of restrictions and morgan i would love to hear a little bit more about what that was like for fly during mm -hmm. the pandemic mm -hmm. how did that change your business um it was it felt like every day you're just problem solving mm -hmm. you're just trying to figure out you know, you're, you're trying to make decisions that you don't always have all the information on, which I think was the hardest thing at the mm -hmm. beginning, especially there mm -hmm. wasn't a lot of information. There wasn't a lot of clarity, right? You know, when we back in March of 2020, um, we closed down for two months and it was a decision that we, myself and our owner, we just had to, you know, really think about the pros and cons. And we just didn't feel like we had enough information on how to keep our space safe and how to operate right. and keep everybody healthy and safe. So we're just like, we're going to close our doors until we have more information and can make yeah. this a safe space for people. So it felt um, exhausting in another yeah. way where you're like always trying to figure out, you're researching, you're looking to, you know, any authority you can of like, how can anyone give us some indication of how we should be doing this? So we actually ended up talking with an epidemiologist about, you know, how can we 
retrofit our current space to make this safe and we created space between you know tape on the floor we spread out we dropped our capacity we had you know mask requirements and we're really lucky in the way that our um cycle studios have dedicated systems that kind of were already working to like push fresh air in and mm-hmm. things like that so it's tough because you know you're yeah. in fitness or you're in business yeah. and you're also now suddenly in science and right. you're like, I don't, you know i was not trained on this so wow. i'm trying to do the best i can so that we can be here for our community and keep everybody safe so it really was just like going staying on your toes the whole time and just iterating and changing and doing what you can to make it a safe space because ultimately for us we wanted to be there for our community in the long haul so we transitioned completely virtually actually for a couple months so we had a class every day Mm -hmm. that we'd stream from our studios and um, we created a virtual community which we still have going but it's um, kind of supplemental to our in-person classes so and we use it a lot for our training tool for our locations but yeah so it was COVID was really interesting because you just felt like you didn't have all the information. And I mean, I'm sure everyone still feels that way. So you're just trying to operate the best you can. Right. But there's a lot of uncertainty if you're doing everything totally correctly. So you just have to do the best you can and just be flexible and change as many times as you need to and always be open to that. Yeah, totally, totally. So based on those responses, we're asking everyone this season the question, the pandemic taught me blank. So how would you fill in the blank of what the pandemic taught you? Yeah, well, for me, it was the very interesting, the same, mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. with a lot of change. And um, I had a circumstance and can, le- can learn about, about uh, if something not put down can be more stronger. Mm. And first, first time. And second time, I think so, um, if you do not adapt, you can mm-hmm. yes. die, yes. You know, evolution or die, or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Two two things very very consistent in my this year in pandemic and when it star and change a lot of things. I think so. Can learn that you see something not put down can be more strong and mm-hmm. yeah, and that's <laughs> and incredible. We are here mm-hmm. right right now. Absolutely, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Um, I guess one thing that the p- pandemic taught us at Fly is that as long as you know what your purpose or your vision or mm. what that ultimately is, you can be flexible on the path to get there. Yeah. So if we know that we want to be there for this community and make sure they feel connected, well, maybe the best way we can do that is virtually, or maybe the best way we can do that is a half capacity class, or maybe the best way we can do that is an outdoor class. And so um, as long as we are always making our choices around that ultimate goal, we're Mm -hmm. going to be on the right path. It just might not look the same (laughs) every day, day to day, month to month. So yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I want to circle back to, I have two more questions in this uh, second to last question, starting from the beginning of each business. So 2007 for you and the beginning to fly, Mm -hmm. what was it like to start the business? Because oftentimes uh, businesses that we see being successful, we often don't know where they come from. So I'd love Mm -hmm. to hear the very start of your business and how it started Mm -hmm. in the very beginning. Uh, the same. I feel the same now. <laughs> I yeah. so, always have a lot of ideas and just, uh, I remember when I started, I was t- 21 years old. So I was wow. seeing, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just <let's> do it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so lucky now and have this time, this mentoring, because I think so, I uh, had a lot of mistakes in, in my past, uh, basically because the always pass in I don't know why but or maybe because I have a lot of passion in that because always the people stay fierce and after build the business Mm -hmm. so fierce is the people and after build the business so maybe because puts me and do something about and I remember it start with a lot of ideas and a lot of passion but without experience and was very interesting just start in training I have 10 years for training about the workout, the coaching, the women, the feelings, the everything, because I was with just 21 years and with the ladies more than 40 years old and and how I I can do that. So I think so 
just start with uh, other passions and believing in 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 the in that goal in the ladies yeah. mm -hmm. and I'll, I want um, I remember just I I remember I, I want to I, I want to dance just say that I don't care how just I want to dance and, yeah. and share my time in this class with the ladies but after uh, so the the business mm -hmm. uh, obviously um, question a lot of questions a lot of mistakes and and a lot and fun times and a lot of experience about and now obviously I'm very clear yeah after 14 years right <laughs> I I feel I feel so clear and and mm -hmm. why can't that I can do and my routines and my experience but definitely I feel lucky and have the support in this program this mentory because never can can do it before yeah and, uh, oh, finally I can just uh going step by step and and I have my goal very clear it's just online classes it's mm -hmm. just focusing the the ladies feel better every day and we can figure out after one year two years which what, is amazing because you started with a studio and yeah. I feel like this whole business kind of kicked off with that studio yeah. and the building and people in the yeah. space so yeah it's amazing how you've kind of adjusted and gotten yeah to and, and and even very relaxed because I don't need to uh, money in that. <laughs> and I remember my yeah, past is right. a lot of money there. I, yeah. I was working like a lawyer because I'm a lawyer there. I was yes. working and my money put in, in my business. It was fine. No, no dangerous, <laughs> for mm -hmm. example. But now I love that, well, that this change in the world and we, do, we can, we can do more stuff. And yeah. especially because I'm star here, so I don't have nothing basically. Mm -hmm. And now we just have a community exciter mm -hmm. to do that. And, and a lot of people answer uh, uh, um, question uh, with questions about the how I can improve in that. And I'm super excited. And mm -hmm. well, it's just different timer for me, but more relaxed about the, mm -hmm. the project with, with more mm -hmm. <laughs> health too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very cool. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually did, was not at Fly when it first began. So Jenny um, founded it in, I believe it was 2015. And then um, she basically was getting her PhD in California, had her own fitness company. It was a boot camp based company there. And she moved back to Nebraska to kind of start, build her family and, you know, be back where she grew up. And she decided that she had couldn't find what she was looking for. So she loved cycling classes and bar and all these things. And when she was in California, she could go to, you know, 16 different studios in a week and find all those things and kind of patch together her ideal workout week. And she just couldn't find that here. And so yeah. she decided to build that experience from end to end to be offered in Lincoln, which was her home. And she wanted mm -hmm. to bring that access here. And so that's kind of the story behind what she, why she started Fly here. And I actually came to my first class like three months after Fly opened and started as a member and then started helping with their marketing and then managing their studios. And wow. now here I am. So it's kind of, it's been a really beautiful organic process of just putting the right people and following their strengths and yes. you know, our whole team is amazing in that way and so fly has just kept growing that we're turning mm. six this friday so exciting just in two days yes. so wow. yes, yeah so it's a big deal so um yeah it just kind of started with um there was something missing and jenny wanted to fill that gap for people which is really similar to you there was yeah. something missing and you decided yes. to fill that gap. so yeah when, yeah, yeah. Just be that, be that person that can create that space when you can't find that space for yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. It's very crazy. I have a, a little uh, story about us because the field team um, visit the when came here in Lincoln and looking for uh, for gym or something for workout. And I remember just looking. Oh, it looks very very nice gym, and mm -hmm. I would take. Uh, I want to take out some class there. And I did actually, and, and yeah. there's some lady there gives me a tour. You know, wow, it's amazing concept <laughs> for the for the women, and and feel like a, something like this just on, online when yeah. obviously I'm not ready for open something, you know. Mm -hmm. So for that that step, you need a lot of time, mm -hmm. and 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 
and I um, I don't want that yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. And, and but I remember I was very excited for for that gym mm -hmm. and it spared me it spared me a lot. And when Kelly uh, told me about that, I have two mentors, she's a yeah. CEO and, and fly in it was very crazy. Yeah. It's how it came Story together. Wow. Is, yeah, exactly. It's, mm -hmm. why, it's the gym I was uh, looking for right. <laughs> or right. watch um, mm -hmm. and for, for a long time. And it was very, very, very cool. Yeah, Sorry. meant to be. <laughs> that's yeah. super yeah. cool. So funny. Yeah. That is awesome. Like that. Seriously, though, <laughs> that's super awesome. Yeah. So my last question for you, just a fun question. What is a hill that you are willing to die on? Oh, yes. We want to get yeah. to know you more. <laughs> 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 no, but I don't know how to explain very well in English. So, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm try understand everything mm -hmm. and me too <laughs> yeah but basically um on the always say in the on the court and, and but playing so learning uh, even the last day here in the world i think so i'm so excited for star star um for always star um stay learning every mm -hmm. day yeah so i think so i can say me and i don't know <laughs> it's the time of only very long time yeah. But I, I think so with playing in, in, in the moment and yeah. and teach something and learn something and, and enjoy and living the, the life. Just I think so. Every day is a big opportunity for for living and hopefully hopefully in that situation I can yeah. say bye. That's yeah. beautiful. That <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um I heard this months ago, and I'm sure it's a very common saying, but it was new to me when I heard it. And it's totally something that I am willing to die on that hill. And I say it all the time in classes, and I exactly. totally believe it is that, you know, when you share the tough things, the obstacles, your like sorrows half, but when you share your joy, it doubles. So wow. finding community is so exactly. important because of that, because the good things mm. are so much better and the hard things are so much easier. So yeah. that is a hill I'm definitely willing to die on. I preach that all the time. <laughs> yeah. And also that iced coffee is appropriate for any temperature. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Those it's always awesome in season, answers. it's always in season. But. Super cool. Unpopular opinion, but I like I know, it. it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Well, yeah. thank you so much for sharing thank your stories you. with oh, us. This has been so inspiring. I'm just really pumped up right now. I'm like, let's go work. This is super cool. Let's go run a mile up. Right? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> That's super cool. I do want to close and have each of you share how people can find you or get involved if they want to connect with you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm in Instagram, like Marce Medina Coach, mm -hmm. or so Facebook, Mar um, Marcela Medina. Uh, very soon I will work in, in the movement Instagram. So awesome. I, I told you about mm -hmm. right now, just I have to, to find the space in, in social media and about the Kelly, you, Morgan, whatever. Yes. Hispanic lady can, if she listen, listen something and are interesting about the, just starting this crazy and amazing energy life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are ready for, for that. Mm -hmm. yes. that's awesome and if you're looking to um really hop on to some december motivation she's got a workout calendar that she's putting together for her december yes. challenge awesome it's going to be available on her instagram so definitely follow her on instagram because yeah. she's got some good stuff coming super so cool that's definitely yeah a good place to find her. Uh, yeah whatever it can can stay there is fine mm -hmm. just right now we have a good news too and I, I need to close the challenge with, we have that 35 women yes for her Woo! december challenge already december challenge. Yes. that's incredible so, so tomorrow amazing. we start and yes. obviously i'm very psycho with yeah. the, phone, <laughs> the people and about the plane and yes. everything and yes. yeah. morgan i think so we so are done amazing. i don't i can have more women because I, I'm very, very focused with everyone. Yes, very intentional. One-on-one -on -one coaching, mm -hmm. always, always, because I want to know seeing why can the awards on awards every day, mm -hmm. and and it's a big uh, season because yeah. the, the ladies sometimes just forgot the goals mm -hmm. and and the wi the winter mm -hmm. yeah. makes make feel get those endorphins in this uh, cold weather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just want a very important just want a coffee yeah. break. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's very important to have the uh, very focused and put all, all the double energy mm -hmm. yes. in this challenge and. I'm ready for that, but yeah. uh, talk with more energy. It's crazy. It's uh, open in the Monday, and yesterday we have 
so busy and Incredible. that. Wow. Because it's important to have that good attention for the ladies. Yeah. And but January very sure is is we are ready for more people. We are yeah. ready for a start uh, very well. So the incredible, world. Yeah. really. Follow yeah, follow her on Instagram. <laughs> That's awesome. Seven, yeah. Yeah. yeah, super cool. Instagram's good for me too. Um, if you want to follow Fly, it's at Ellen K Fields Fly, and then I'm Morgan Dot Madison, I believe, on Instagram T T I S O N. So yeah, yeah. Instagram is the place to be, I guess. Yeah, so. no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So but thank cool. you so much for having us. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you both thank so you much. So much. appreciate it. <laughs> Marcella's story is one of great inspiration. Not only did she move to a new country in the midst of a pandemic, but she moved and moved her business with her and developed a entire new clientele. It's a beautiful story of her rising above, but it would not have happened without community. So my encouragement to you, if you are still listening, is to seek out a mentor who is doing what you want to do really well. Could they help you? You will not know unless you ask. Thank you so much for listening and being part of this community. Be sure to subscribe, leave a review, and share with a friend so we can keep building people, building businesses, and building this community.